Update 1.6 has finally been released for everybody to play in VT Battles 2, and with this update comes the very first ever dynamic map for the game. Grab your hard hat and head onto the building site for some intense popping action. The track changes every round, so your strategy will need to be as flexible as it is strong in order to cement a win. Plus, check out an all new bling season and a host of other changes that make the game better than ever. Now, I already covered the patch notes for this update in another video, which I'll be linking down in the description below if you guys would like to check it out. But let's also go over some other changes that come along with this update. Oh, you know, we gotta cop this too. There's a new starter pack, limited time only, one day, 50% off right now too. That includes a bonus cosmetic item placement animation for a dart monkey. We'll take it. I'm getting it. And in case you guys haven't seen the new season eight bling, here it is. We got Gem Lab, Kai DDT, this very interesting emote, and many more things. Okay, one more thing I promise, but your boy placed 17th on the Hall of Masses leaderboard. Thus, we got the T25 badge, which I'm very happy about because I worked extremely hard last season. So I am very content with T25. But with all that being said, let's finally get into a game where we play on the new map. So of course, we got the brand new map named Building Site, and our strategy is going to be Smudge Cat. Tack, farm, sub, and it looks like our opponent's hero is going to be Quincy. And by the way, look at that T25 badge on my banner. Woo! That looks freaking sexy. All right, so take a look at the track. The balloons come out of up here and they exit over here, but the pipe will change every single round, all right? So currently, the balloons are gonna go through this pipe like that. So I'm thinking about starting off with a taxier like right here, I guess. I don't know, guys. So let's just do that. This might be the bad play, but this is my first time ever playing on this map. So please bear with me, all right? But we're probably gonna have to go for the blade shooter before we even go for smudge. You know what? I think the balloons always come out of up here. So we wanna make sure that we have smudge cat right here because then she'll always be able to hit every single balloon. Look, there it goes. At the start of round two, ended up switching the pipe to now exit up here instead of down here, right? So that is very, very good to know. Dude, this guy already tower boosted. He started off with the ninja, the glue. He's kind of just all over the place, right? So let's go for that blade shooter, like I said. I don't want to go for a banana farm just yet. Are there even that many farms on this map? I'm honestly not too sure. I don't think you can place a tower right here, it looks like because this crane or whatever is going to be in the way. Uh, yep, there it goes, and switch back. Okay, that is so freaking cool. Sub might not even be the play, by the way, on this map, because if you think about it, we're not gonna be able to decamel any balloons until they get all the way down here. And reactor, it's gonna be all right for when the pipe is this way, but when the pipe is flipped the opposite way, uh, the reactor spot's not gonna be all that good for us, all right? But let's still go for this farm, by the way, before the start of round four. There we go. Dude, he kind of just went for like everything. He went for a glue, and it looks like the glue is actually significantly helping him out so far. Okay, so well, well done with that. Ooh, wait. Let's go for faster shooting here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So with this update, they actually nerfed Space Deco. So Space Decoing is really not that efficient. The only time you actually want to end up sending Space Deco towards your opponent is if you want to force a necessary upgrade, all right? So like in this case, this is a good send by him because it did force the even faster shooting upgrade on our attack shooter. And here it's round five. So yeah, we actually don't even want to send Space Whites here. Okay, I mean, I don't want to kill him, so maybe this could force upgrades possibly over on his side. But again, space decoying is not efficient whatsoever. It is better to just send grouped blues strictly. Okay, so can this tax just solo, by the way? Oh, this tax spot is actually not all that bad because it was hitting some of the balloons down here even so. But I went for another farm upgrade over on our banana farm. I'm thinking we go for a double tax shooter for round seven yellows because most likely he's going to be sending those right. The next best tax spot to hit the balloons every single round is going to have to be like right here, right? Because the balloons, again, always come out of up here. Wait, can we set down another farm? Uh, okay, we can over here. So that's a good tax spot being wasted though by banana farm. So... Apologies with that, but let's go for the increased production here. And so far, he has yet to send us any yellows. Okay, so I would like to go a little bit later uh, with this game as well. Oh, wait. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good, right? Please, please be good. Please be good. Okay, we're going to be taking some lives. No, stop. Stop sending. Stop sending. Stop sending, please. Um, I need to... Okay, wait. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. All the way down to seven lives. Not even close. <laughs> this map, man, it is freaking tough so far. We are all the way down to seven lives. All right, so I'm going to go for one more 200 farm, by the way, before the start of round nine. Um, because I'm thinking we're going to have to probably save up enough money now to go for reactor, okay? We're going to need reactor. Although reactor, again, it's not going to be all that good. 
when the pipe is in the opposite direction. Okay, so it looks like for odd number rounds, the pipe is down here. For even number, it's going to be flipped to exit up here. Okay, if that kind of makes somewhat sense. But we don't even actually wait. I think space zebras would be the play. But again, the goal is not to kill them. So I'm not going to be doing that. Let's go for our reactor all the way like i don't know i guess just directly in the center of this let's just start going for those upgrades now all right we've got smudge to pop down some of those lead balloons for us oh my god no i can't leak those i actually cannot leak those okay just pop those down for me easy not even close let's go for reactor right here right now let's sell that space rainbows here please don't die my friend i'm gonna go middle path upgrades on this as well so we can pop lead balloons okay we're good we're good we're good easy 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 all right oh my god i did not mean to send him that lenny leads oh my god no he's gonna die he's actually gonna die to that he ended up tower boosting the goal was not to kill him but if he dies he dies it's not that big of a deal but let's continue on equal win ladies and gentlemen we're all the way down to four lives so i'm not gonna lie like we're kind of down bad right now maybe tack farm sub was not the play for this map i'm thinking maybe like mortar or ace would be super super good on this map so maybe next time we should use that let's actually target smudge too to strong thinking that's going to be the play for us so he's just in a pure eco strategy technically so he should be even setting us eco right now but for whatever reason he has not been doing so but we're going to make sure that we continue on eco wing. our eco goal is going to be around 1500 eco and i would like to go for our first banana plantation here as well so again apologies for the scuff gameplay but this map is very overwhelming at first because this is in fact the first dynamic map that happens to switch paths, which is just a really cool concept in general. Like, I feel like I'm playing BTD6 right now. Okay, he's gonna send us a few leads here, some purples as well. We should be fine against that. Notice how he started rushing us, by the way, uh, when the pipe switched to up here because our reactor is much worse when the pipe is this way, okay? So it looks like, though, reactor still did pretty well against all that because the reactor is able to hit balloons while they're in the pipe, okay? I thought maybe they would be blocked off. Oh, he's about to die. I think he's dead. No way he didn't die. He's down to three lives. Dude, we're both down so bad. <laughs> no way he survived that. Honestly legendary. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If he sends us a mob class balloon, we're kind of screwed, right? We probably should switch out one of these taxers, I'm thinking. So, yeah, let's switch you out with an overdrive. I was about to go for another banana farm, but I don't know. I don't want to die to just a singular mob. Like, that would be super anticlimactic. We actually hit our eco goal as well, so... Let's push this up until 1600 eco, and then we'll stop right there finally. We'll go for one more banana plantation, and I'm hoping with an overdrive, we should hopefully be fine against a fortified mob. Okay, let's target our uh, totem right here as well. We can't even use a totem. Oh my god, because we're only at four lives. That's not good. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen. So we have got to watch out here. Maybe we go for a ballistic down here. Yeah, let's go for a ballistic. But it looks like he's not sending us anything, so I went for this. Oh, wait. Camel leads. What the heck? Why are you sending those? Obviously, that's easy class. But I went for a marketplace. See, look. I can't set down a banana farm right there. Dude, banana farms. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We're just going to use this really quickly, even though there was like two balloons right there. So that was a huge waste of money. But we can't even set... Okay, wait. You can set down a banana farm all the way down here so let's go for that all right ceramics within the ai let's make sure that we're fine against those i would have liked to go for a central market before the start of round 20 but it's all good let's go for a ballistic here just to make sure that we're going to be good awesome dude you've already tried your purple rush bro it's it's not working okay it ain't working against us my friend i want him to send us like bfbs and stuff um i don't even know how i would go about defending against that though i guess just go for another ballistic and then overdrive spam not too much that we can do about that. He's very vulnerable right now. Like, I could easily send him a ZMG here on round 22, and that would be super bad for him. We got Smudge Cat, though, so we could always use her mob hacks ability. But, dude, wait, they slowed down the leveling up, okay? But it looks like she's about to be level 9, so we would have to buy that level. And buy level 10, of course, which would probably be quite expensive, though, at the same time. Okay, Fortified Ceramics within the AI. Gotta watch out for these. We should be good here, though. Uh, do we dare try to... Yeah, oh, wait. Okay. Let's go for that. Come on, one more income boost. Okay, perfect. That was very sloppy. I apologize. Very, very sloppy. Let's go for this once again, though. Just to kind of have that set in stone. Very, very sloppy gameplay from your boy. Just please, again, just bear with me. See, I should have went for a BRF instead of this marketplace. See, like, I, again, I'm just all over the place. But hey, we are still alive. Technically had the life advantage, by the way, by just one life. So we've got that going for us. Later. Oh, my God. No. Oh, I'm dead. 
All right, so we're going to act like that last game just never happened. But this time around, we're going to be using Oban Ace Alchemist Sub as our strategy. Because remember in the last game, I told y'all that I thought the Ace would actually be pretty good on a map like this. All right, so hopefully I am right about that. But it looks like our opponent's hero is going to be Ocean Oban. And it looks like he's got the Alchemist set down as well. Uh, I did go for a round one Oban. Okay, so normally you can get Brambles by round three. But now heroes level up a lot slower from levels 1 to 10, okay? So we probably won't be able to go for Brambles until like round 5 or so, right? But let's go for the Sharper Darts here and also the Centered Path upgrade. Kind of forgot about that, but I don't have that much experience when it comes to the strategy overall, right? This is a very commonly used strategy on the map ports, but I would use Druid Farm sub personally, okay? And there he goes with his next Palm Power Tower being the good old Ninja Monkey, all right? So the kind of messed up thing that he did, though, is that the Alchemist is within range of both the Ninja and Ocean Open. So that Alchemist will be buffing both of those towers when you want your Alchemist to solely only buff the Ninja Monkey, okay? And by the way, we got Brambles on round four, actually, which is pretty awesome okay so let's target the brambles more up here perfect let's start getting those down as well i thought placing open where we had smudge cat in the last game would be pretty good because if you think about it too remember the pipe is this way for even rounds therefore for round 26 ddt's we'll have trees and we could put trees over here for those ddt's but also at the same time he could just wait until round 27 for trees so like i don't even know guys i don't know all right <laughs> But now we're going to start ecoing with grouped greens. Okay, so it looks like we're struggling here a bit more. So I'm going to slow down with this, actually. Let's full on stop ecoing for a second because I'm about to leak a lot of lives if I don't go for this. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die, right? We're not dead. Okay, that, that sung a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So I guess we have to hold up on the eco in there a little bit so that we can go for the never miss targeting upgrade, all right? Because we absolutely need that against group greens. And now we're going to eco with just group blues. Again, no need to send space to eco unless you want to force an upgrade over on your opponent's side. But here on round seven, we want to now eco with the grouped yellows because we are using a pure eco strategy, all right? So that's the kind of bad thing because pure eco strategies, they do tend to like, oh wait, I don't want him to die. I'm going to let up on the eco in a little bit. Okay, so we got that Berserker Brew upgrade on the Alchemist. So well, well done. I want to go a little bit later with this game, okay? And hopefully this time around too, we won't choke to the AI because... Yeah, I don't even know how we did that the last game. That was so embarrassing. And we just hit 800 eco, all right? So let's get back to saying grouped blues here. And we got to start going for the alchemist now, all right? So we want to make sure that our alchemist is not within range of Oban because we don't want the alchemist to buff Oban, okay? So the alchemist right here should be pretty good because it can do a little bit of damage to some of these balloons as well. So let's start going for this Berserker Brew upgrade as well for our Never Miss. It looks like he went for another double shot ninja, okay? So if we wanted to, we could probably all lot of them here on round 13 but that is not the goal right round 12 is here let's get the setting space rainbows and dude i forgot about decamoing by the way so my apologies on that let's go for this like right over here just trying to get that pixel perfect placement you already know all about that wait he just tower boosted okay wait let's let's hold up on the ecoing by the way because i literally had no decamo tower over on our side, and that could have been very, very bad. And by the way, we got a tower boost out of him. He went for the balloon jitsu. He's kind of down bad a little bit, but now he, he should be fine, okay? Because again, I'm just going to be setting full on eco. He's not currently ecoing at us, by the way, so that is definitely something to know. Oh, there he goes with his final tower, being the good old sniper monkey, okay? So sniper is probably another tower that would be pretty good on this map, in my opinion. Like, any tower that has, like, pretty much map-wide range feels like it would be pretty good on a map like this, okay? Because then, like, this pipe, like, switching, it essentially doesn't matter because your tower can hit wherever the balloons are on the map. But what do we go for for mob class defenses? I'm thinking we go for a fighter plane, so a top path ace. That might, in fact, be the play. But, like, where do we want to go for that ace, too, is the ultimate question. I have no idea. I'm thinking we're going to cross path it, though, with the bottom path. So that means the placement of it probably won't matter as much as we think. So let's just go for this one right here right now. Let's upgrade it to the fighter plane, like I said. And let's go for that center path. So, of course, it's right directly in the center of the map. There he goes for his first supply drop ability. Okay, now he's ecoing too. I'm not sure if he's been consistently ecoing or not. I've not been paying attention. Let's see what level Oban is right now. Okay, so he's currently level 8. Because normally, if you need trees on round 18, you can actually buy them. But looks like that is not the case for us, unfortunately. I mean, right now, we don't need trees. But maybe on round 19, if it was, like, really, really bad, maybe we could go for trees 
Then uh, let's start equaling two, by the way, with constant pinks. I kind of forgot to do that. We could have probably started doing that a long, long time ago. Okay, so let's see his level now. So trees would cost 5k. Oh my god. All right, so you don't want to buy those unless like you're really down bad and your opponent is sending you like a huge fortified mob rush okay because of course that's the only time you should be buying trees not against like region rainbows and stuff like on round 19 region rainbows should not be an issue okay but 5.4k that is actually insane and you would normally just like get trees on round 20 but it costs 2500 dollars. wow guys okay let's go for operation dart storm here by the way and we should be good against all the serams and stuff all right yes easy easy claps for us okay so should we send him a little bit of something or or should we just continue on this game oh yeah now we got trees on round 21 all right so we want to target these trees more towards the front of the map by the way so let's do that perfect because we're gonna get some money from those well, we could send him a little bit of something but i'm not going to all right i kind of want to wait until round 26 but how do we go about defending against round 26 ddts we probably are actually going to have to micro for strike ability and I don't know my migraine I, I don't rely off of that a lot because it's not the greatest but yeah i guess we're gonna have to do that maybe we send him a zomg here or something because actually nah let's send him a fortified bfb okay let's do that fortified ceramics within the ai here by the way are we good are we good are we good um do i tower boost this i'm not even kidding uh no we're good okay guys those fortified ceramics really push right there that was actually super scary okay so that means we need a ballistic missile for that. A hundred thousand percent. Is he going to be fine against that, by the way? Ooh. Nope, he's dead to the fortified ceramics. He is dead to the fortified ceramics, ladies and gentlemen. And we, in fact, got the victory there. Kind of anticlimactic, but I just wanted to showcase the new map with this new update, right? So let me know you guys' thoughts about the new map down in the comments below. It's super overwhelming at first, but once we get the hang of it, I'm sure everything will be fine. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we cover the new Battles 2 update patch notes for this update that just dropped. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have yet to check out this video, go make sure to watch it because we cover everything that you need to know.